Okay. All right, what we got here? Bring it on. Tick tail. This guy invented a whole genre. Prove me wrong. All right, Howard Stern on bass. Looks like the Howard Stern Rush Limbaugh trio. That's the king of surf guitar. That's the king of surf guitar, everybody. I've seen a Japanese uh, guitar player who plays a surf guitar. Literally, it's a guitar that's in the shape of a surfboard. I just can't remember his last name or his first name. But I think there's a T in there somewhere. Deal, baby. Jimi Hendrix once said, may we never hear surf music again. I don't know. Why do you hate surf music so much? That is some serious slapback reverb we got going there. Definitely looks like a combination of Mark Knopfler and Rush Limbaugh. That would be some show, huh? Uh-oh. Dick Dale plays grunge. Overhand technique. <laughs> That's some cool guitar playing right there. Now impale the bass player with the neck of your guitar. For the love of God, get a better rhythm section. Oh my God! Oh my David. God! Just because you, just because your music's from the '60s, doesn't mean your your background band can't evolve into something a little bit better. All right. What do that you think drummer of- and bass player Dick were Dale. nowhere, baby. Okay. Dear Dick Dale, you can do better. You know, spur, pay the extra hundred dollars per man and get some two cats who can play. You know what I'm saying. What is that? 
All right. You're the king of surf guitar. Don't lower your standards. Hire some cats. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Get Steve Lukather to play bass. If you can play on beat it, you can play on this. I don't know about those two cats you got on bass and guitar and drums. That's all I'm saying. Okay, well, let's, you know what? Let's focus on Dick Dale. Well, you know, he invented a genre, like I said. He's very, uh, very, very stylistic. That cat, you know, Dick Dale basically invented something and then just rode that wave throughout his whole career. Well. That's pretty cool, though. That's, you know, that he influenced a, a ton of players. You know, I actually don't know a whole lot about him other than what I've heard. I know. I think he was featured in one of those, or at least one of those, beach blanket bingo type movies. Well, that would make perfect sense. Let me, let me check. Is he just instrumental? Was there? He ain't never had any singing, right? All his music is instrumental, I think. Let's see. I don't know. Let me. Here we go. King of surf guitar. Muscle Beach Party. Beach Party. Let's make love. Back to the. Hey, beach. take it easy. So he was in an Elvis movie and two of those uh, beach party movies, and then the like the sequel, I guess, the fun twenty years later, back to the beach. Oh, I remember that one. I remember back to the beach, baby. Dick Dale. What does it say about the Beach Boys? It says most of the leading bands in surf music, such as the Beach Boys, Jan and Dean, and the Trashmen, were influenced by Dale's music and often included recordings of Dale's songs in their albums. Well, that makes sense. His style and music influenced guitarists such as Jimi Hendrix, Pete Townsend, Eddie Van Halen, and Brian May. Really? There you go. How did he influence Pete Townsend? Uh... Let's see. Oh, I guess he did. I wouldn't know where it says if they're all uh, instrumentals. Born in Massachusetts, the surf city of Massachusetts, Boston. Mm. Yes. Why is it that all these people who sing about the surf don't really like the surf? Well, he didn't say he didn't like to surf. Oh, Brian Wilson didn't like to surf. He wasn't a surfer. I don't know. The idea that the Beach Boys were into surfing, I think, is a mistake, except for possibly Dennis Wilson. But they were caught up in that lifestyle, maybe, and uh, at the beach. I don't know about that. <clears throat> Little surfer girl. I don't know that they really were. It was all. I think they just caught onto a they caught onto a theme and went with it. All right. I don't think those guys surf. I don't think Mike Love was much of a surfer. Well, maybe they just, uh, they were uh, spectators. Mike Love. Now that guy was a hippie. Mm. Oh, see this? What's that? As a Lebanese-American, he retained a strong interest in Arabic music. Oh, mm. I can hear that. You can hear that in his, uh, in his, in some of his uh, note choices. Yep. Well, there you go. That's pretty cool. And he did surf. Never prove me wrong. I'm... <clears throat> he learned to surf at age 17. Dick Dill's the king of not the queen. All right, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. All right, Dick Dale. Dick Dale, happening, baby. Surfing it up. A young Dick Dale hitting the waves, thinking of his next cool lick. Good for him. Yeah. This one was suggested via Twitter. Not Twitter. in the comment section. In Twitter. Oh, you mean X? X, sorry, yes. That's got to be the worst name change I've ever heard in my life. I don't get it. Dear Elon, you bug it. All right. You bug it. I like that. That okay. was happening, except for the uh, drummer and bass player. Okay, well. 
Thank but you. Uh, thank you very much. That was cool.